all right welcome back everybody welcome to the channel first off I want to thank everybody that subscribed to my channel so far uh, we finally after what three months of uh, having this page we got to a thousand followers so thank you from the bottom of my heart now let's get right to it um, today we're gonna learn how to make changes to your footer uh, on your website through your Wix website actually in a matter of two minutes it's actually fairly easy so once you're in your Wix uh, dashboard you'll connect you'll go to your site click on edit site and it should take you right to your to whatever it is whatever template you have drawn up for your website I personally like uh, having full control so I uh, turn on the dev mode um, with editor on Wix that way you get full control of what you're doing and any changes you know stay uh, you can adjust them um, move them around change the format change uh, the actual font size of the font and you're in full control of what's going on in your website so here I'm gonna as you can see there's a small little space right here and I want to add links okay to the page or to separate pages let's see what kind of um, well actually this page only has a home so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two pages okay I go to menu and pages add page and we're gonna add two blank pages just for the sake of uh, showing you guys this example as you can see we're gonna label this one page example one and then I'll go ahead and duplicate this uh, same example and let's call it page example 2 that way when we create the links on the in the footer section of your website and anybody that clicks on your website would be able to just um, they'll, they'll be redirected to to your page so give me a second let's just see right here I'm just changing some settings really quick because all right here we go so now that both pages are created I'm gonna add text to it so I can identify each set example we're gonna put uh, page example one we're gonna bring that font size And then we're gonna go to page number two and do the same thing. Let's add text, add some, uh, an identifier, page example two. All right, there you go. Uh, let's edit the text size, there you go. So now we're gonna go to the home page gonna click on home go all the way to the bottom now I'm gonna stretch the footer all right what's going on all right let's stretch it it's a little bit more One second, guys. I'm having some uh, some weird reason. My mouse is like. I'm not grabbing the actual font. One second. Let's just delete that. Add a text. Down here, we're just going to add, move it over here, page example one. We'll do the same. Let's duplicate this.
control V just to duplicate it. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on with my mouse, but we're getting there. So if you drag the text all the way as far close to the footer, this should pop up. And you just click move to footer and then you can move it around. All right, so <clears throat> once you have your text that you that you've transferred it from the body of your page to the footer of your page, you can you know like the way you link each text um, so when someone clicks on it you it takes them to your actual page or wherever you direct that click to go is by you have to click on the text go to edit text you click on this link uh, which looks like a little chain link um, select page you choose the page that you want um, the, the, your, your visitor to be taken to once they click on that link and done. I'll do the same for page example number two, choose a page, page example. And down here you have the option for it to pop up as a new window or the same once they click right here, um, the actual link, it can, um, take them straight to the to the page you're directing redirecting them to on the same page on the current window so now we're gonna use this as an example let me X out I just want to make sure let's save make sure it works we're gonna go to a preview so I'm in the home page right now you're gonna click page example number one and there you have it it takes you to page example number one and if I click on page example number two it should take me to page example number two um, one last thing I want to show you guys is when I was uh, messing around with this I one of the things you don't want to do well it's up to you I personally don't recommend it because if you do freeze footer as you scroll up and down on your website the footer is always going to show and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and click a preview. Let's go to the home page. And as you can see, regardless of where you scroll, that footer is going to show. So it takes away from the content, the design of your website. So, I mean, to each his own. It, it's, it's all in how you want your uh, visitors. I mean, what you want your visitors to look at. So let me just go ahead and remove it click back on the website and there you have it all right guys well that's all I got thanks for tuning in do not forget to hit that subscribe button it costs absolutely nothing to do so and I'll uh, keep you guys posted on any upcoming um, videos how-to videos on Wix design thank you have a great day